Welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Today's video session is on web server installation in AWS. So let's start web server installations. So we know all about the web server means uh, where the uh, where our website are hosted and that server is called the web server so to configure web server here we install the apache which is a web server we are using apache so first we have to know that what is apache web server so apache HTTP server is a free and open source web server that delivers web content through the internet. It is commonly referred to as Apache and after development it quickly became the most popular HTTP client on the web. So why Apache web servers? So Apache web server is considered open source I already told that which means the original source code is freely available for viewing and collaboration. Being open source has made Apache very popular with developers who have built and configured their own modules to apply specific functionality and improve on its core features. Apache has been around since uh, 1995 and is responsible as a core technology that's helped spur the initial growth of internet in its inefficiency or infancy. How does Apache Web Server work? Apache functions as a way to communicate over networks from a client to server using TCP IP protocol. Apache can be used for a wide variety of protocols but the most common is HTTP or HTTPS. HTTP or HTTPS are the hypertext transfer protocol and hypertext transfer protocol secure is one of the main protocol on the web and the one protocol Apache most known for. Who use Apache server? Apache HTTP web servers are used over 67% of all web servers in the world. Apache web servers are easy to customize environment. They are fast, reliable and highly secure. This makes Apache web servers a common choice by best in class companies so I just one more thing I just addition here nowadays the nginx web servers are uh, recently very growing their market so, uh, so that's that is a very uh, useful and very handy web service nginx so alternative uh, of Apache web servers are First is Nginx, which is most popular current days. Apache Tomcat, Node.js, Light HTTP, D, Cherokee, Microsoft IIS, AppWeb. These are these are the web service. So now I am showing you how to configure Apache web server. Uh, in AWS Ubuntu instances so now I'm connecting my instances I just cop uh, I just copy my public IP address from instances description this is the public IP address I just open putty paste the public IP SSH select auth I have to select that ppk file Ubuntu ppk open I 
it's open it's open so I'm connecting my server as a root user I'm connecting with the root so now I'm installing apt hyphen get install apache 2 yes I'm installing apache taking a few minutes to install Apache in my system you can see that it's installed so now I just go to my web browser here I just type my website at public IP address you can see the Apache default page is open so my Apache server is working fine so this is how you can install the Apache one more thing I just show you this Apache I'm uh, connecting the Apache with the HTTP port uh, with the port number 80 and this port is allowed in my uh, uh, AWS firewall that is called security group I just want to go to the security group once security group and under security group there is a security group IT smart security group I just click on that security group I just edit the rule here you can see port number HTTP is allowed I just delete this rule for now and save the rules now you can see that if I connect I just close this tab and reopen a tab if I paste the public IP address so you can see that uh, it is trying to connect my Apache web server but when the traffic goes to my uh, security group it will see that the port number 80 for these instances is not allowed and I am connect I want to connect through the server so that's why the server cannot be reached and if I allow that security if I allow the port number AC uh, uh, port number 80 inside the security group you just see I'm adding a rule HTTP anywhere save rules so here is a small warning is given because the port uh, port number 80 with the IPv6 it is already uh, configured you can see that this is configured I just uh, close I just delete it for IPv4 it is allowed I just save rules now it is saved and now I just uh, refresh my page you can see that the web server is running so this is how this is a very simple step this is how you can configure your web server in uh, AWS so if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you thank you for watching